A Wellington property developer is warning there are at-risk buildings that have not been included on a list of those needing fresh earthquake checks. The City Council's told the owners of 80 buildings to carry out further earthquake testing and published a list of those needing the work. The buildings include the Intercontinental Hotel and the Treasury Building at Number 1 The Terrace. Jacob McSweeney reports. Two buildings should be given the all-clear in the next 24 hours after quickly getting engineering reports back to the council. It says owners do not want to have their buildings under a cloud and are moving quickly to remove any uncertainty. Ian Castles is the managing director of the Wellington Company, which owns property needing further assessment, such as the Sharp building on Taranaki Street. He's disappointed he wasn't consulted before the list was released today. It's a bit scattergun and, and it may not have got, oddly enough, as much as it should have done. So I'm disappointed that I wasn't involved in the conversation or that our engineers weren't. I mean, I, I imagine there was a group of engineers that worked out what the most probable target was and set the parameters. But I'm just questioning whether that is dead right. I, I, as I say, the, uh, the ambition and the idea was right, but the execution might not be quite right. Mr Castles wants to know how the council decided which buildings needed another look. While he wouldn't name them, he says there are places that should have been included on the list. I can't really name them because it wouldn't be right. I think there are buildings that people have got tremendously upset in, not on particularly good ground, that would be much more prime candidates for examination than, for instance, buildings that are on good ground that haven't really demonstrated a crack. The council's recovery manager, Mike Mendonca, says he's prepared to discuss the issue with Mr Castles, but doubts any more properties will be added to the list. He says it was released before all the owners were contacted because public safety was involved. Regrettably, the first some building owners heard about it was in the news this morning. Ideally, that wouldn't have happened and we would have contacted all building owners prior to that happening. Unfortunately, the sequence of events meant that we couldn't do that and we regret that. Meanwhile, engineers are working to manage the huge demand for their services following the council's order and firms are bringing in staff from around the country. Susan Freeman-Green from the Institute of Professional Engineers says it's a challenging time for those doing the checks. They are already working extremely hard, have been for five weeks, round the clock, doing everything from rapid assessments, investigations to sharing information and getting to the place that they can pinpoint the issues that are leading to further investigation. The Wellington City Council says it expects its list of buildings will whittle down every day once owners get the new reports through. For Checkpoint, Jacob McSweeney.